Yo, 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 T and T Dynamite here. I'm the man on the sticks, and we're playing some more Slay the Spire. Now, I've been messing around with this thing for about the last, I don't know, two, three hours trying to get sound to convert from one machine to another so that I can record. Um, me nor Jonas have a, a PC, so we're doing, I'm trying to do this laptop to laptop and I got a, a PC laptop or Windows laptop going to a, a MacBook Pro and it, it's giving me all kinds of trouble. So I'm able to record, but I'm having difficulty with the sound. So maybe I'll put some smooth tunes in there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it sounds after it's done, and we'll get to it. Either way, we're going to do the daily. These are the daily challenges for uh, Slate of Spires. You can see the date on here is today because I am a procrastinator. <laughs> All right. Either way, the character we'll be playing today is the Defect. The modifiers, because every daily has its own unique modifier. Shiny, start with a deck replaced with one of every rare card for the defect. Um, a certain future, the map contains only one path. And night terrors, resting at rest sites heals 100% of my HP, but I lose 5 max HP. So, let's see how we can do. Granted. No, you didn't give me anything. Alright, let's see what our deck is made out of. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we even have any blocks? I don't think we have any blocks, man. Okay, well. We have a buffer. That's that's kind of like a block, right? Alright, let's just... Let's get in it, I guess. Alright, first fight. The dreaded field louse. Uh, 26 damage to all enemies and lose focus. I'm pretty sure that just kills everybody. So, there we go. Alright, add a card to my deck. Definitely want to start out with some block. So, I will take a leap. It is 1 for 9 block. Sounds pretty good to me. This guy has a little bit more HP than the last boy did. So what I'm thinking that we'll do is we'll rainbow, which gives me one of every orb. I would really like if this fission were evoke your next orb X times. I think we'll do this to get some more HP or get some more, some more energy. And I, honestly, I don't know. Um, no, well, I wanted to see what Thunderstrike did. 7 damage to a random entity for each lightning channel this kind okay that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine um we don't have any orbs so i'm just going to play amplify which again we're going to take 11 but i don't really know what else we could do maybe i should have played amplify then echo form so echo form is great because it just gets it gets shit done I'm actually gonna. Should I? That's 22 damage. This gives me a bunch of lightning damage, though. I think this is more damage in the long run if I play it twice. I think I was wrong. <laughs> but, but that's fine. Alright, we're just gonna smack you. Smack him right in the fucking face there. Uh, and we will end our turn. He's not attacking, so I need not worry about blocking. He's at four. So my decision was perfectly fine. Hopefully we get an attack. Oh look, a hyper beam. Perfect. So hyper beam is great, but it makes your orbs do way, way less damage. And that's not something I want to do. Um. Hmm. Gain 12 block for each power card played this combat. I don't know about that, but I will take a turbo. I feel like the extra energy will help us early in the game. 
we'll start out with you boys. Alright, so I am going to amplify and then play buffer twice. That'll give me buffers to block uh, all your damage. So I think that's a good start. And you take your three damage, sir. So I don't know how easy or how difficult this is going to be, but we will be finding out now, won't we? Um, I can play turbo to give me a little extra energy. Booyah. That gives me five energy. Deal seven damage to a random enemy for... I've only channeled one lightning, so that's only seven damage. I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll do echo form. Hyper Beam is... It's 26 damage, man. And I don't have any blocks, even still. So yeah, let's just Hyper Beam them, and now... Our orbs are doing no damage. So I will draw a card, and it was not to my benefit. Honestly, I, I, with with very few attacks in this deck, I don't I don't really know what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's let's try uh, let's try double rainbow, I guess. All right, I did six damage to you. How do you like them apples? Then we'll we'll bias cognition because that'll give us a little bit of orb power, but our orb power is gonna decrease every turn. There's a good chance that I'm going to fail at a lot of these dailies. Like, the pressure is really on right now. We're actually not taking any damage thanks to that, that early... Uh, that early buffer that we did there. Oh, and there we go. He's done. Boom. No damage taken, actually. Alright. Uh, of these... <laughs> I'm going to go with the rebound. Only because if we get like a hyper beam or something, there's a good chance we can cast it, rebound it to our hand, put that some bitch right back out there. Let's see what our path looks like. I did not even look. So do we even have a shop? We do, but it's after an elite. Alright, so the thing about this this one path that we have here just means that everybody's going through the same shit we are. I am going to disagree. I do not want your gold, sir. You will not curse me, not this day. Uh, find a relic, I'll do it once. I'll do it twice. I'll do it the third time. This is awful. Okay, well, that probably just killed us, and it was not worth it. Sundial is only bonus energy. That was a lot of damage that we took there. Uh, at 46, where's our next fire at? Actually, oh, we got a fire coming up. All right, so we're good. Let's smith up. What do I want to smith? I, I, you know what? Fusion is great when it's upgraded. Instead of removing my orb, it evokes them. Which is this, it's free real estate. It's just free damage. Free block. So we'll do that. Uh, everybody wants to curse me, boy. I don't know why. I'm just going to take your free money. And you can keep your curse money. Alright, let's look again. Where's our next bonfire? We got three good fights, four good fights to our next bonfire. I don't know. We're at under half life and we got an elite. Alright, I'm going to lose the five max HP. Just this, just this time. I assume that I'm going to have to do it at least a couple times. Anyway... Oh, this is a new relic. You guys haven't seen this one yet. Uh, I channel one dark at the beginning of combat. So I'm going to be playing this character a little bit faster. I have played a lot, and I'm not sure, but uh, eventually on the channel we will be going over uh, this character and a few others and what their abilities are. So these boys have no attacks in my hand because... <laughs> This motherfucker doesn't have any attacks. Oh, there it is. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Watch this fucking shit right here. BOOM! Did you see him? I know I did. Alright, so we will take a charge battery. 
I feel that I need to I need to front load myself with blocks because essentially I have none. I've got like 17 cards and they are all just like this does damage. All right, so we are going to Electro because Electro makes lightning orbs do damage to everybody. And then we're going to Fusion and good night you little bitches. Ha. Oh, no damage taken again. Take a fear potion, thank you, sir. What else you got? What you got for me? I will take a capacitor. <sighs> Do I even need a capacitor? Like, I honestly don't really know what I have. And I guess a capacitor wouldn't hurt. On the same, I could take more damage. I don't have a lot of like straight up attacks, and this has some AOE. But I'm gonna take capacitor because more orb slots are always helpful against bosses. No matter who the boss may be, you need those orb slizots. All right, so we gotta play Echo Form. We have to. There's no other recourse. We have to get Echo Form out, out there. We'll put that potion on him next turn. That gives him vulnerable, which means he takes more damage from us. But the Echo Form, echo form is paramount. All right, so the next card we play is going to get played twice. What do we want two of? Evoke your next orb X times, so I can evoke it three times, six times, uh, six times eight. What is that? Six times eight is 48. That's 48 damage to this boy. Or I could do this. I'm going to choose to do this. But it'll make them stronger, too. I mean, everything in my hand is going to make them stronger, honestly. Um, yeah, let's do Rainbow. Let's do Rainbow. This is going to do a lot of damage. And it's going to give us some, some inherent block as well. Beautimus. Alright, so I, can, I think I can play powers against this boy, but I cannot play skills. So skill, skill, skill without making them stronger. All right, we're going to take a little bit of damage, but, you know, I don't really have any blocks. And I did about 40 damage to him there, too, so... I don't know if that was necessarily the, the best decision, but it, it didn't hurt me at all, so that's cool. All right, so we're going to play a buffer, and then I'm going to play buffer work twice, you beautiful motherfucker. All right, so that means the next two attacks, we're not taking any damage because we got double buffs double buff and now our orbs are a little bit stronger we're just not going to take any damage from this attack booyah you can come at me bro uh and now we have a hyper beam so you're dead <laughs> the power all right i'll take a steroid potion and i actually want to take another core surge Gives us artifact. It's it's a nice amount of damage for one, for one uh, energy. Not too shabby. All right. So I'm going to take out of these abacus is that's his block. Whenever you shuffle, Pitnib is good, but I really really want to get some more block in this deck. So I'm going to take a good instincts because it's free. Um, shit. I guess I could take a, I I honestly do like stack. I do. But we'll take another leap. And then I will most definitely take a fruit juice. Because that just gives me the max HP that I lost back. And uh I mean I guess that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna save some of my money here. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna put this right in our gullet right now. Give me that. Mm. It is the best fruit juice I've ever had. Oh my god. Alright, so I, the way that I would like for things to go is that I don't have to uh, rest before this fight. Alright, we got three mana or three energy. This will block his attack. And allow us to smack at him a little bit and we get artifacts so your attack and your debuff whatever they may be will not affect me sir 
boom, none of it. Nullified every inch of everything you tried to do to me. Alright, here I am going to uh, rainbow, because I think this will do the damage that I need to kill him. And it did. Boom. Alright, and then he's going to take three from my orb. Boom, and he's dead. Alright, man. An all rare card deck is uh, working pretty good for us right now. I'm going to take a melter. Um, where I see an attack that takes off all of your block. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Alright, so we're going to smith here. What do I want to smith next? Um, hmm, I don't know. What's good instincts go up to? Eight block for free? That's not bad. Uh, I honestly, since this is like one of our best blocks, we're going to use that. That basically blocks any damage that we get. It's not the best against this guy because he likes to attack multiple times. But... We are going to start out with an Electrodynamics just to get some lightning orbs out there. And then I guess we'll just melt you a little bit. Can I just smack you for 10? Cool. Yeah, that'll work. Now that Dark Orb, I would like for that Dark Orb to get really strong. They go up by 6 every turn. 6 damage every turn. Mmm. See, now this is this is where it happens. Alright, so he's attacking me for six. Six times. It's 36 damage. Not too buku. Not too buku. Alright, I don't think I have any zero cost cards. And I do have one, but that doesn't really matter. I don't have any damage, man. Like, this does damage, but it only does ten. Alright, man, I, I hate to, you know, I want to wait for a core surge. I don't have one, of course. Um, I honestly don't know. Like, this is three, this is 21 damage? Yes, because we're, we're just going to, we're going to take, we're going to take the 36. I could block a little bit of it, I guess. Alright, maybe I'll block a little bit of it. We'll deal 10 to him, and then we're going to do this, and that's going to give me these cards here. I'll block a little bit of your Dimaggio. I am going to play Turbo. Oh, and this is where the genius plays come in. And then we're gonna reshuffle, grab some more cards. There is our freaking Core Surge right there into the Bias Cognition. Now this gives us four focus, which makes all of our orbs go up four, but it has the caveat of I'm losing one focus, but not if I play this, because I never lose any focus. And we got good instincts back. Look at him. We're hardly taking any damage now. I mean, it's still a big hit. But we got through this boy's first hit. That's that's the main attack right there. Most of his other shit is nothing after that. Alright, so we will play Core Surge again. Um, we can leap. And that will mean we take no damage. And then we'll smack you for 10. And then get ready to take a couple, some more damage from my orbs. There we go. So yeah, I, I don't know. I've been looking into the dailies. Like, I don't... I'm not like a, a daily boy or anything. Alright, so we're going to play the Echo Form. And we're going to take 10. But... The echo form has to get out there. Like, it, it is basically how we win. So now this dark orb is going up 10 damage every turn. So it's already at 42, and then when I evoke it, it's going to deal that 42 damage to this guy's uh, griddle packets. And by griddle packets, I mean his face. Oh, I played capacitor twice. That was not... <laughs> that was not the move that should have happened. All right. Uh, let's do machine learning. I am definitely going to evoke all my orbs and then pick new cards up. So that should be 12, 12, and then 42. He is hurting, boys. 
Give me the frickin' buffers. And then Hyper Beam is 26 damage. That'll bring him down to 50. We lose three focus, but we did gain a bunch anyway. So I'm, I'm gonna go, <gasps> we don't lose any focus because we had a core surge charge. He's a genius. He didn't even realize his own genius. Okay, give me your frickin' burn. Uh, so what card do we want? What can kill you right now? A uh, Meteor Strike could do a nice bit of damage to you. I think we want the uh, Core Surge again, though. Or not the Core Surge, but I think we want the uh, Hyper Beam again, though. Honestly. Because if we... Oh, I get, a, I get another card? I mean, sure. I'll, I mean, I'll take a Melter. Thanks. Cool. Alright, so we're going to Smedak him. Return that bitch to my hand. So I get it next turn. Then we'll cast that bitch right there and we'll get some orbs out. Just passive damage. I want a little bit of passive damage in there. Oh, and I blocked your burn because of it. Good shit. Alright, this dude is done for. Because I'm getting my hyper beam again. Yeah, and it's getting played twice too, so yeah, you're good and done. Alright, not too shabby, man. I hope we heal up the full at the end of this, but we'll see. Another bias cognition. We can make that work. With the amount of core surges that we have, we can nullify its negative effects. So I'll take another one. 100%. Can I please have an energy relic? Velvet Choker. I can only play six cards. I mean... Honestly, we don't have a choice. I don't care for those other two relics. 